Mad Alliance was howling because Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. This is going to be my reaction and review for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 31. Kick back, chillax, let's get it. You mean she's gone? The little obnoxious girl left? <laughs> Sometime this morning. But she. Where was she going? She didn't tell me. Ah. Dang. We could still find her. But this city is huge. And we don't have any clues. <laughs> but we do have a clue, Al. Yeah, the panda buddy. My pawn. Yeah, it started off as a hobby of mine. My bishop. Yes, sir. I consider it an honor. My rook. Hello, sir. My knight. All I this pieces. I'm the brightest guy you'll meet, but I do know how to shoot. And worst of all, I'll follow you into hell if you want. They've even taken my queen. Ah, uh, because there is her queen, but in chess, I'm still not in checkmate. Not yet, anyway. Hey, have you seen this cat? I'm trying <laughs> to find the little girl. The way they drew him. <laughs> no, it looks like this. Or the way Ed drew him. It's not some weird alien. You don't say. Shingy's alkahestry. Sounds promising. I'll ask around and let you know what I find. Thank you, but I don't really want to get any deeper in debt to you than I already am. Speaking of, you owe me some money. <laughs> so how about you cough it up? <laughs> 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 you remembered? Come on. How much did I borrow? 500 cents? It was 520 cents! Don't con me. I'm not like it was just a quarter. You. I'm just not a penny I mean, this is in the like 1900s, are. though, so. I'm sorry, Colonel. Forgot about that. Also, it's a different currency. I'm just gonna hold on to this. But I promise to pay you back when you become Fuhrer. Who told you? Oh. <laughs> Lieutenant Hawkeye told me. And she told me about Ishval, too. You lost your arm. You couldn't protect the prince. And look at you now. We don't have to beat her down like that. I mean, <laughs> hey, what do you I think would you're never. doing? Dare you call yourself a member of the Chosen Clan? Dude, cut it out, old man. She hasn't recovered yet. Why? I told you to stop. You don't hit a woman. You just don't. It's really gone. Your arm. You lost your arm. Please forgive me, Grandfather. I'm sorry. Was that already mentioned before? You I... You damn fool. We appreciate such a kind gesture, but you've already helped us enough. We can find an engineer on our own if we must. But, but they we'll already know something. one. The enemy has now clearly seen Lanfan's face. We refuse to risk the life of your engineer friend. Oh, wow. It's kind of respectful. All right, then. Thank you. You're the only reason that my granddaughter is still alive. You have my gratitude. What? Do I look like the kind of doctor that wants gratitude? He's just trying to... Yes, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving me. Just clear out already. <laughs> I'm not such a pushover that I'm gonna let you take my bed for an extra night. Now get out. He was. I'll always be indebted to you for taking care of me. Thanks, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving me. He was one of the. Treating me like a real doctor. What's the world coming to? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Oh, good evening, Dad. Good to see you. It's been a while. How are you? Whoa. Fine. We were in the area, so we thought... Hey, Dad, I... Well, I want to become a doctor. I know that you've been haunted by the things that you were ordered to do in Ishval. No matter what, 
You never gave up on helping people. That takes courage. For that, for being a doctor, I love you. Oh dang. You stubborn jackass. <laughs> ha! Come on in. It's not gourmet or anything, but I'll brew us up some coffee. I don't know if you actually exist or not, God, but cut me some slack. Aw, oh, dang. Even a guy like me needs a break. Just please. I didn't expect to get emotional. Of having a cup of coffee with my family. So tell us, how did the stone work out? He it's beyond was amazing. at the very beginning, and I had no clue he would play a part like this in the show. Power. Excellent. Write up the details in your formal report for us. But we'll need the stone back first. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Now let's see. I guess this makes you the only ones who know that I'm in possession of this stone. Traitor! <laughs> 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 Was that a bomb? What's going on? <laughs> Visitors. He's still at it. On your feet, Gimli. You've been released. What? By who? So who made this decision? I didn't say you could talk, Kimberly. And if he's had the stone, couldn't if he has just gotten out the whole time? Shut your mouth. You know, Warden, I appreciate you taking care of me. I hope I never see you again. Don't eat Break. <laughs> just my way of saying thanks. What is this? I can't get it off! Help me! Don't do this to me! Kimberly, please! Wow, what a troll. It's nothing but a harmless toy. I thought you could give it to your kid or something. Farewell, Warden. Now then, what next? Hmm? Is it, uh... It's been a while, Kimberly. Envy. Pose is yeah, one of them. To we could use a little extra help. Get him out. My first day out of jail, and I already have a job. Why didn't you kill me back there? After all I've done. He is freaking we alive. A conversation yet, Marco? Tell me everything you know about Kimberly. Also, you might be able to help me decipher some of the research notes my brother left behind. Do we have a new companion? He's not a companion. His name is Marco. He created the Philosopher's Stone, and he killed my people to do it. The Philosopher's Stone? Immortality! Mr. Marco, please teach me how to create the stone. How did you make it? You don't I want to know. No, I can't. Quiet. You shouldn't desire such things. That's it. He's dead. He's dead. He's out. Oh. Frick. 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 Oh. You destroyed the surface. You can stop the bleeding, can't you? Right. It will be easier for us to travel if your face is unrecognizable. It's time to leave. So they did. He did that just pretty much. We need to get to the place where I hid my brother's research notes. The North. Guys, oh, get, this, this show's already been incredible. Now, things are just getting even more, things are getting so freaking hype right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll save the best stuff for last, so, first we'll, there's nothing actually really to say about, uh, Ed and Al this episode, I'm mostly just focused on certain other characters. Uh, it might have been mentioned before, it probably was at the very beginning of their introduction, I probably just missed it or either forgot about it, I guess. But, so, 
the old man is the girl's grandfather. So that's a thing that I didn't know. Um, and I, that's actually kind of respect, you know. Um, he doesn't want to, uh, you know, they know that they now know about that girl. So they don't want to risk the life of um, and Alice engineer Winry by, you know, her being the one to help fix her up. So it's kind of a respect thing, you know. Um, and I don't know the doctors. I don't know everybody's name. I'm not taking down notes of everyone's names. Um, but the doctor, I didn't expect to get emotional there. And he worked in Ishfall. He was, you know, the one, uh, the, basically, a few episodes back, we got a flashback, and, um, it showed Raph, you know, when he was younger, on the table, with the Philosopher's Stone being him, and, you know, people's souls were being taken, and stuff like that. So, he was one of the doctors there. I don't think that was shown earlier, but I definitely caught it this episode, obviously. So that's cool. That's the thing. So, you know, he, um, it's actually a good thing he was doing, helping fix up Chang and uh, Gao's assistant because usually he, the in Ishbal, you know, he was forced to take lives and. Now he's actually saving lives, and so his son wants to be a doctor, and so he wants to help from his dad, and so I didn't expect to get emotional there, but I barely know this doctor guy, you know, I barely know him, he's only been in like the past, I think, four or five episodes, three or four episodes, and now after that quick backstory, just that alone was enough to make me feel for the guy, and, you know, get a little emotional, especially when he started crying, so... Um, that was a good moment, uh, but this is what I really want to talk about. It's the whole stuff with Kimberly. First of all, I have to thank you guys, honestly, for being, like, the best subscribe in my opinion, the best subscribers that there is, okay? This, this dude was introduced in, like, literally... The second, third, or fourth episode. It was one of those episodes. Or fifth. And point is, he was introduced in like one of the first five episodes of the show. You guys could have easily told me that, yo, this dude is going to play a huge part. You just don't know anything yet. You guys could have easily, you know, spoiled it for me and let me in. You guys didn't even say a word about him. So... Honestly, thank you guys for just letting me find out stuff on my own. You know, I thought, I was like, okay, this is dude, he might play a bigger part, I don't know. But I, I haven't been seeing him for, like, many episodes, so it's just like, whatever. But no, no, he plays a huge part. He was the reason that all these followers were wiped out. He, 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 he was the guy. Kimberly was the guy. I was calling him Kimberly. It's Kimberly, I believe. And I'm, I'm wondering, so, because, okay, listen. Kimberly said, Marco, you mean the guy who created the Philosopher's Stone? He didn't say a Philosopher's Stone. He didn't say this Philosopher's Stone. He said, He's the guy who created the Philosopher's Stone. The, he said that as in the Philosopher's Stone period. Like the first ever Philosopher's Stone, the creation of the Philosopher's Stone. Now episodes back when Ed and Al and Armstrong went to Marco's, we knew that he had a Philosopher's Stone. So we knew he could make them. But it's, so he, from what I'm understanding... And answer this for me if it won't be spoiling, but I th I think it was explained. So Marco created the Philosopher's Stone. He's the one who invented the Philosopher's Stone, basically. And so um, is that why the first one was a shard, kind of? I mean, yeah, you could call it a stone, but it's... The stones we see normally are round. The one that 
Kimberly has is like like a broke looks like a broken piece of glass or something. It's, it's like a shard. So that I'm gonna call it the philo it's the same thing, but I'm gonna call it the philosopher's shard. This specific one. Um so yeah, so I'm guessing since it was the first one, is it was just like in the shape of a shard because uh, he, I guess Marco didn't exactly know how to perfect it, the shape or whatever. And so the rest of them are more modified or something. I don't know. I mean, they all use the same thing. They all use souls. I don't know. It's just something that is just stuff that I'm thinking of. Um, but that's really cool. So Envy got him out when he realized that Scar had took in Marco, and I thought, I thought Marco was, I thought Marco was dead. I completely, like, I had no doubt that he, I had no doubts in my mind that Scar had killed him. I was, I was completely dead set on, yep, Marco is dead 100%. And he's completely alive and fine and has his own freaking, I thought he was freaking dead. I swear. So he's alive. And Scar is keeping him alive. Because he wants to get everything he can out of him. About what went down in Ishbal. So. Yeah. And he pretty much mangled his face. Just for the sole purpose of. People not being able to recognize. Oh hey this is Marco. You know just in case any homunculi are looking for him. Hey this is the guy we need to get. So yeah. Envy got. Uh. Kimberly out to help look for Marco and apparently the the shard won't be enough so he's even though it took out like an entire civilization um it apparently won't be enough now so he's gonna have to use uh you know more of the philosopher's stones I'm I'm just wondering though why didn't he ever use it to get out of jail? He he ha he clearly had it. It destroyed, like I said, it destroyed a civilization. Why didn't he just use it to get out of jail? Uh, is there a reason? Was he like just doing a waiting game? I mean, he was sentenced to death. So what was what was his game? Did he? I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't think it was explained. Um, so if you won't spoil me, then let me know why he, you know, just didn't decide to just break out of jail or was it not, or will it not ever be explained or anything? Uh, what else? I think that's it, really. The main stuff I wanted to talk about was the Kimberly stuff because, I mean, not that I'm, I'm not rooting for the homunculi or anything, but I'm just saying things got really hype once Kimberly got in the picture. I'm just saying. Same thing with Scar, even though he's not necessarily a villain. He's just kind of a guy who's here. It isn't like he's a hero. It isn't like he's a villain. He's just kind of here, you know. Things got hype when Scar showed up. Things are getting hype again now that Kimberly has shown up. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. This is my reaction and review for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 31. Let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section. Links on my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. And ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a video. My name is Joe, AK Mad UFC. I hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.